Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm going to be trying to explain to you guys why I believe that the concept of talent in art is extremely and completely overrated. And why not only is it overrated and I don't really think it exists to the extent that people think it does, but also why as a concept it's extremely unhelpful and even hurtful to you if you're an inspiring artist. Now, when I'm going to be saying artist, I'm mainly going to be referring to drawing and painting because that's the sort of thing I do. But really, this goes, this will make sense for any kind of creative activity. So firstly, when we speak about talent, well, what do we actually mean? So to me, the most uh, vivid examples or the most speaking categories where talent seems to be the most important thing is competitive sport and art. So in art, there's this common sort of understanding that if someone draws a beautiful image or that all the great painters of history, that they're all extremely talented people, but they were born with this huge talent and that's why everybody loves them. That's why we would pay millions and millions and millions for their artwork, um, etc. And in extreme sports, it's quite similar. It's an extremely competitive environment. And basically, the what people think is either you're extremely talented as a young kid or you're never going to make it. Now, in sports, this is kind of being debunked now because you actually have quite a few athletes who start quite late or <clears throat> who start early but themselves will tell you in interviews that they were far from being the best kid at, at the, in the school playground but they just outworked everyone to the point where when they reached 18 years old they were much better than everybody else because they just worked so much harder than everybody else to reach that stage. Now so this is getting accepted for sports, but I actually think it's exactly the same thing when it comes to art. I just do not believe in the theory that these people are all extremely naturally talented and that they didn't pick up their skills through hard work. Like even um, an example is Van Gogh, who only started actually painting when he was 27 and there's letters of him explaining and ranting about how complicated it is to paint and how he wasn't managing to paint anything in perspective. And he's considered to be one of the most talented painters ever. And he himself, from his own words, is telling you that he struggled to paint anything decent for quite some time. So, where am I going with this? Basically, let me tell you why some people, why the concept of talent exists. So imagine you're in a class, people are six or seven years old, and the teacher tells everyone to draw a dog. One kid draws a beautiful dog, and probably all the other kids draw horrible little <laughs> light. <coughs> Sorry, lines that don't even look like a dog, okay? Um... Now, the teachers are going to be saying this kid is extremely talented and all the others are normal kids. Well, the reality of the situation is most likely that this kid has been practicing drawing for a few years before being told to do this exercise. Maybe his parents taught him how to draw. Maybe he got curious and started drawing and did, did so repeatedly so that when the teacher asked him to draw a dog, he actually knew how to do it because he had done it before. No one draws something perfect when it's the first time they're asked to do it. And so the effect of this is, since when we're kids, well, most people don't draw until they reach a certain age, well, this kid is branded as being a natural talent, and then the entire school knows that he's a talent, so anyone who wants advice of how to draw will go to him, he'll get referred to the best schools, and that's how it works. The, the, the boy or the girl is now labelled as a talent, they'll start believing the hype themselves, that they are a natural talent, and it goes on. In reality, of course, they have the skill, but the point is, it wasn't just 
a God-given talent that existed within them. It's the accumulation of their life experiences and work which has given them this ability to draw. Okay, so this is very important. Now, the reason why I want people to understand this is because if you believe in the concept of talent, and just to make things very clear, I believe in the concept of IQ, for example. So I, I, I obviously believe that some people will become, so with the same amount of work, some people will do things better than other people. This is just a fact about life. But that doesn't discard any of the points I'm about to make. Because if you believe in the concept of talent, what this actually means... Imagine you're, uh, you're 20 years old, you've never practiced drawing ever in your life, okay? Um, there's other people who have drawn amazing things around you, who everybody says they're crazy talented, they've always been talented, you don't know how to do anything... And you say, hey, I'd quite like to start drawing, but <clears throat> I don't have the talent. All I've ever drawn is stick men that look horrible when I was asked to draw at school. Um, so I can't do any of that stuff, right? You're limiting yourself. You're limiting yourself because you're believing <clears throat> this lie about talent. And consequently, you're, you're proving them right because you're not actually doing things. Now... I don't want to tell everyone that I am the greatest artist in the world, or far from it. But to give you just a little bit of history, I started drawing when I was 25. And up till then, I was literally the guy who had only drawn stick men. Okay, and so I was the guy who my parents didn't even want to be in my team in Pictionary because I drew so badly. And now, well, I think everyone who would look at my Instagram, Instagram page, for example, would say... Wow, like, this guy actually knows how to draw. People have told me, wow, you're so talented. And I just think to myself, no, I've taken, I've believed that I could do it. And I've taken the time, I'm patient, and I worked in order to create the things that come to my mind. You see, this is the, <clears throat> this is the key. And I genuinely believe that anyone who commit to drawing something nice can make a good drawing in a week if they've never drawn anything before and this is something I truly believe and this is something where when I speak to people most of them tell me oh no I don't know how to draw I don't know how to draw there's no way um, there's no chance I don't have that talent I don't have that gift so I just give up and it's a real shame because I'm, I'm going to do other videos about this, and it's a real shame because drawing is probably the most direct way you can impact your creativity, and you work something in your brain which is when you're drawing, which is very different from from other ways of of drawing of um, working your brain. I, I I'd, I'd have to think about it more to be able to place it into the correct words, but it's like there's this kind of muscle in your brain. That if you draw for three hours straight, you feel exhausted in a very specific way. And it, it's like training your creativity muscle. <clears throat> so even if it's just drawing to, to feel more creative and to train your imagination, I really think it's hugely beneficial just for your life in general. Even if there's no... Um, even if you're not trying to sell artwork or any sort of pretension in that way. I genuinely believe that drawing can be beneficial for everyone's creativity. Now, I think the point that I was trying to make has been made. And this is pretty much the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and <clears throat> will speak to you soon. But just to re-emphasize, really, the point is that it's not that talent in general does not completely exist is that if you believe in talent and you believe that since you have never practiced, you do not draw good things, you will believe that you are not talented and that you will never be able to draw something good. It's just, it's a fallacy. It's a limiting belief. And I want you to overcome this limiting belief. Believe in yourself. <clears throat> give yourself a challenge. Think of something you'd like to draw. Spend a week drawing it, and you'll see you'll produce something better than you've, than you've ever done before. 
This is if you're a complete beginner, of course. But even if you're not, even if you're like, even if you've done a few drawings, challenge yourself, do harder things. With time, you'll succeed. All right. I'll stop dragging on now. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.